Hello, hello, and welcome to Tasmania Vibes. So today we are back with another request. We are going to do a protection spell jar. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. So this protection spell jar is just your basic protection for yourself, your house, or whatever you want it to be protected. I'm going to use this one for me, so I'm always protected. As a practicing witch, I always need to be protected regardless. So the ingredients, we're gonna need a jar, a white candle, we're gonna need white salt, sage, rosemary, cloves, amethyst chips, and black obsidian chips. So once you've got all them, don't forget to ground yourself. And if you're a beginner, grounding yourself, you need to take some deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Imagining that you are drawing the energy up from the earth, through your root chakra, all through your body, out through your crown chakra, and all down the rest of your body. Once you've done that, we can get into it. Okay, so once you've done that, let's set the scene. Let's get some fire in there. Okay, so if you don't know already, the first thing you do with your spell jar is you're gonna need to cleanse your jar. Let's cleanse the jar. Set the intent for protection for yourself, for your house, or for anyone else. But to start this spell jar off, again, while you're pouring in every single ingredient, don't forget to set the intent of protection. So we're going to use white sea salt. White sea salt is always known and very common for protection. Then we're going to grab a bit of rosemary. Don't worry about it if you're making a mess. It's a very messy procedure. Just a couple of spoons. Next, we're going to grab some sage. We're going to put some sage in there. Not much. Then we've got some cloves. These smell amazing. I love the smell of clothes. And then we want to start adding our crystals. So I've gone with black obsidian and amethyst. So I'm going to put some black obsidian in there. And then we're going to grab our amethyst. I'm not going to put too many in. Three will do. And then for the magic. Make sure the lid is on tight. And we're going to light our candle. And we're going to say, Thus I am defended against attack and misfortune thus i am protected from evil and pain and you want to repeat that two more times so you say it three times in total thus i am defended against attack and misfortune thus i am protected from evil and pain Thus, I am defended from attack and misfortune. Thus, I am protected from evil and pain. Keep that intent while you're saying those words. Say, so motivate me.
So you can make a couple of these and keep them around your house, near your windows, by your front door. That's if you're doing a home protection spell. I keep mine on my altar just because this is where I practice everything or my energy goes into this area. So I tend to keep this particular area of my house protected mostly. I'm always protected, my house is always protected. I keep haunted items as well, so it kind of needs to keep protection around all the, move, all the time. But you can pretty much do any sort of protection spell for you. You can do it for your home, your pets, your kids, or any of your loved ones, your family. I will be teaching you how to protect an item. There's so many spells that we can do together. There's gonna be love spells. There will be good luck spells any sort of protection from evil, like specific evils. We can do business spells together. There's so much that we can do. So this one is just your basic protection spell jar. This one's my favorite because it's just so simple and it works 100%. But just make sure that when you do these spells, you keep the intent going from start to finish. So if you have another request, please leave a comment and I will happy to show you how to do any more spells. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time in the next video.